الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومن ولاه Our Lord Allah سبحانك You are the Master You are the one who granted us this life You are the one who blessed us with our life, with our health, and with our wealth. You granted us our families, our children. You gave us safety, and you gave us wellness in our life. If we are to count your blessings and your provisions, we will never be able to do so. We are only able to present our prayers to you tonight. We present ourselves as your servants. We submit in the way that meets your might. We submit as you called us Muslims. We submit because Islam is all about surrendering to you, my Lord. It is in this night that we raise our hands and we hope that the blessed moments of Laylatul Qadr will be a shafa'a for us with you. We raise our hands and we hope that in this blessed night, when you have gave permission to your angels to roam this universe and to bring the orders from you down with your power, to bring the peace unto people who have gathered, families, individuals, at their homes or in any place, even in the small gatherings in the masajid, we ask you to bring us the peace that you have promised us in this night. You have said salamun hiya hatta matla al fajr that it is until the morning just nothing but peace. We ask you to bring peace into our hearts. We ask you to bring peace into our minds, into our conscience. We ask you to bring peace between us, between friends, between brothers, between sisters, family members, neighbors. We ask you to bring peace and that which makes us on the path of peace until we meet you, our Lord. We ask you to bring peace unto us because our faith, our deen is the deen of peace. We ask you to grant us the ability to be with your Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My Lord, we have missed seeing him in this dunya. We were not among the Sahaba. But he told us that we were his beloved ones. The people who will come after he died, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and believed in him because of the pages of the Quran and of seerah, alayhi salatu wa salam. We are his beloved ones looking forward to be united with him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We ask you to bring us closer to him when we are by the kawthar and he is handing us the cups of that water that whoever drinks from it will never be thirsty, my Lord. We ask you to grant us the ability to drink from his hands, to be joined with him in heavens, to have the chance to sit down with him and reflect the nur that you have put in him, sallallahu alayhi wa We ask you to join us with him, with our families and beloved ones, with our friends, with our kids, with our children, we ask you to make us among those who are able to fulfill living his sunnah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this life. We ask you to grant us the ability to carry Islam the way he carried it sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We ask you to give us the ability to live Islam the way he lived it sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We ask you to give us the ability to look up to him in the proper way of him being our example and our role model sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We ask you that you grant us in this life the ability to connect with your book, Al-Quran Al-Kareem. Every night we have been asking you our dua to make the Quran Al-Kareem in our hearts, to live the Quran, to practice the Quran, to recite the Quran, to enjoy the blessings of listening to the Quran. My Lord, there are many people who don't understand the language of Arabic but they live it in their hearts and in their minds. I ask you to give them and reward them based on their intentions 
and the moments of clarity and purity they live with your book, even if they don't understand the meanings, but they understand that they love you and they understand that they love your messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We ask you to ease on us these hardships around us, this pandemic that we are going through. We ask you to bless all those health workers out there, probably not able to come and do their ta'abud and tahajjud and ibadah. But what they are busy in is more precious. You know that caring for the lives of individuals is more precious to you than probably our dua. We ask you to make their nights as blessed as ours. And we ask you to bring healing and cure on anyone who is in his bed or her bed, Muslims or non-Muslims. They are all your servants and they are all your creation. And we ask you to ease the hardship on people in these hospital beds or at home because our deen is the deen of Rahmah. And your messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam was sent nothing but mercy to mankind. We ask you to ease the hardships on us when we are seeing people around us unable to get to their jobs, to their work, and they are feeling the heat of being unable to put food on their table. We ask you by your names, and you are the one who is all wisdom, you are the one who is all knowledgeable, to ease this hardship on us and to bring this pandemic to an end so people can come back and live their life and worship you in the way that pleases you, my Lord. We ask you with whatever time has been left for us in this dunya to give us the power to stand for you in the proper way that pleases you, my Lord, to help us being able to establish the ibadah and the prayer that matches your might, my Lord. We ask you if the time comes for us to depart from this life, to make it easy on us, to make it easy that when we see the angels coming, that the way they welcome us, we welcome them, that our names will be mentioned in best names when our souls rise up to your heavens, and that the kafan and the hanut from Jannah will be brought to us, and that when we are lowered in our graves, we ask you to make it spacious for us. We ask you to make it full of light as you have promised. We ask you to give us the ability to answer back the angels, to say, Rabbi Allah, my Lord is you. Deen al-Islam, my religion is submission. Wa huwa Rasulullah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he is our Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam. We ask you to bring such blessings on our parents who have passed away that they are in their graves now, enjoying the blessings of our dua to them. As you have told us, that the shukr next to you is to our parents. Anishkur li wa li walidayk. O Allah, we ask you to give us the ability to make shukr for you and to make shukr for our own parents. We ask you to bring us the ability to come back to your masajid, to the places so we can worship you. Our hearts are thirsty to unite together as ummah, as community, to come back to bring down this forehead down and worship for you. We ask you to give us the ability to serve you in this masjid here in Orland Park, the way that pleases you, to, to be able to provide the services to our community that you always have been able to give us that. And we ask you to give us the ability to welcome our brothers and sisters back in this masjid and our brothers and sisters who are eager to come and unite with us again in that of an act of worship towards you, my Lord. We ask you to bestow the blessings and mercy on our parents, on our friends. We ask you in our dua, anyone who made us or called us or reminded us to make dua for them, that we make dua for them. May Allah forgive them and forgive us. We ask you in this night, that we have so many sins that we have committed in this past year. But sins for you don't affect you, my Lord. You can erase it in just one word. And you are Al-Ghafoor. And you are Al-Rahim. And you are the one who told us that if we ask you, if we raise our hands in dua for you, that you answer back. So here we are, my Lord. We are raising our hands, submitting to you surrendering to you, asking you for forgiveness. 
It is us, the weakness in us. It is the vulnerability in us. It is the moment that we were distant from you, ignorant from the truth that we might have sinned or we might have failed to do that what we are supposed to do. We ask you to forgive us and to bestow your mercy on us. It is the moment that we celebrate. We know that you have forgiven us. We have faith in you and we have faith in the path that leads us to you. We never give up on your mercy. Our deeds can never rise to be sufficient for your might, but we can only present our hearts. We can present our deeds based on our intentions that we have meant it for you, my Lord. I ask you, my Lord, by all the beautiful names you have, by all the mighty names you have, أسألك بأنك أنت الله that you are Allah الملك القدوس السلام المؤمن المهيمن العزيز الجبار المتكبر الرحمن الرحيم الغفور الودود ذو العرش الكريم الغفار التواب الرحيم الكريم الحليم We ask you in all your beautiful and mighty names to forgive us We ask you to forgive us in the honor and the blessings of Surah Al-Fatiha. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaytanir Rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahmanir Rahim. Malik Yawmiddin. Iyaka Na'budu wa Iyaka Nasta'een. Ihdina Sirat Al-Mustaqeem. صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين يا رب العالمين